A History of Strategy by Martin Van Creveld was a book suggested by Martin Van Creveld's publisher, editor, and friend Vox Day on his dark stream. He said that the book serves as a great introduction to both military history and military strategy. He was certainly right about that one. I had been suggested by many friends to read his work regarding human equality in the Israeli military as well. Seeing that the man is commonly seen as a leading figure in military history today, I figured I needed to start somewhere, so I chose to start here. The book is short and sweet and provides a great introduction to the history of military strategy. Each chapter is about 15 pages long and is devoted to a different era in war. One for iniquity, one for the Middle Ages, one for the interwar period, one for the early modern era, and so on. When reading, it becomes evident that Creveld can write both for a popular audience and with a technicality and precision needed to be a great scholar. The chapters go by fast, and so does the book. When reading through the historiography of military strategy, what is most interesting to me are the changes in what was considered the most important element in winning a war. In early societies, maintaining virtue and discipline was considered the key to victory. Later, maneuver and or the rapid and willful deployment of force was seen as the key to victory. Finally, today in the modern era, the highest level of technology was seen as the key to victory. Creveld, though, is skeptical of technology being the be-all and end-all of modern strategy. Instead, he focuses upon actual modern military philosophies, whether they are conventional total war based, nuclear based, or unconventional based. He does not think that the highest level of technology on any one side is the key to their victory. He even talks about his own theory of non-Trinitarian warfare at the end. The shortness and easy, easiness to read are both the strengths and the weaknesses of the book. You are getting a very shallow conception of the historiography and philosophies involved in the history of military strategy, but it nonetheless proves to be a very interesting and engaging introduction. The book then best serves as a springboard to suggest further reading materials for the reader to pick up after they've finished reading. That being said, I look forward to reading more of Van Crowell's works in the future. A History of Strategy here um, is a hardback. It's pretty nice. Castilla House definitely put out a nice product, or it would be nice if mine didn't have water damage. Hopefully I'll be able to send it back to Amazon after I finish reading it, which I have. I still have time to do that. But anyway, definitely a great product. If you want to read this, I know it's extra from buying the Kindle version, and it's pretty short anyway. Um, pay the extra to get this nice hardback. Look at the the text and everything is pretty well made on here. Castilia House definitely did an outstanding job. I really like it. 